Right, oh guys, uh, very, very big purchase today. You can see behind me that is a 300 kilo crate. Um, I've just bought a commercial leg press hack squat combo. And so once we get this bad boy home, uh, the boy's going to have a chance to earn himself 50 bucks and we're going to see if the two of us can put it together and then I'll do a bit of a review. All right, catch ya. Right, oh guys, first limitation bloody heavy. Uh, the box was massive. I'll show you a picture of that later. These are the components. Quality is really nice. You can see the handle and all that sort of stuff looks really beautiful. The guide rods are solid steel, which is great. And nice components. Big, heavy Icarian style brackets. But <laughs> this is all we really got for uh, instructions. No text. Just a bunch of numbers. Okay guys, now that the uh, machine porn music is over, uh, hopefully uh, you got to have a good look at the machine in terms of the powder coat and the fit and finish, which is really, really nice. Um, let's talk about why I made the change. So previous to this, I've done a review on my first leg press that I had at the house, which was an Armatech leg press hack squat combo. Um, it was a home unit. And as far as home units went, it was pretty good. Uh, it had about a 300 kilo weight rating, um, which as anyone who uses a leg press with any regularity will know, is actually not a lot of weight if you're decently strong. Um, basically, with a leg press, you tend to, on a 45 degree leg press, sorry, now give or take a, a few kilos, you tend to only feel about 75% of the weight loaded uh, through the legs in leg press mode. As a hack squat, they're fine, obviously, because most people tend to not be anywhere near as strong on a hack squat as they are on a leg press. But in any case, it was time to upgrade because I'd pretty much maxed out the capabilities of the other machine, and it was built on wheel bearings, uh, which is two large wheels that sort of sit on the inside of the frame. They tend to stick and drag at anything above 200 kilos and so I've made the switch to this machine which as you can see is only a you know it's only got two posts on it um, with the current plate configuration if I stuck another plate or two on the side I could get on maybe 300 kilos on that machine um, using just the plates but I'm going to buy a bunch of iron plates um, and with iron plates there's actually enough width on the two handles to take it up to 400 kilos which still currently exceeds um, my sort of max capacity of, of doing reps uh, on this machine. I'd, I'd never do leg press for uh, for maxes, but usually, you know, set to 10 uh, type weights, where at the moment, um, being able to fit, you know, 260 to 280, 300 is just fine for me right now. Um, but yeah, once we, once we get uh, enough steel plates, this will well and truly be able to go up to near the 400 kilo mark without any modification. So that's all uh, what I'm looking for, something a bit more robust to help me continue with my training. Um, and yeah, so I made the decision to upgrade and the challenge was to find a, a, a full commercial leg press hack squat. I've been waiting quite a while to find something that would um, suit and just lucky enough, I, I live in Perth and I found a Trojan Fitness started bringing this unit, um, which as you can see is actually a full commercial unit running on uh, an Icarian style linear bearing system. Um, you can just see here on the hack squat, it's, it's quite good in the hack squat, you can get absolutely to full depth uh, which is nice you're not limited uh, by your body positioning on this one i like to have the incline up on the first hole for the foot plate and then i'll put it down to hole number three if i'm using it in the leg press function um just giving you an idea that you know 
This has only got 50 kilos on it in the leg press function. The cradle is extremely heavy um, on its own, as you can see, because there's a fair bit more steel in there um, than you would expect just on a dedicated hack um, in order to accommodate both functions. Um, but the handles are really, really nice. And uh, yeah. So what are my final thoughts on the Trojan light commercial dual leg press hack squat? Uh, really, really good. Um, the question is whether or not it's worth it to you for the price. Um, you can check out whatever Trojan's current price is uh, on the leg press by checking out the website. So check out uh, Trojan Fitness uh, located in Perth. The biggest factor, I think, when it comes to buying a commercial leg press, honestly, is not the quality. Um, very rarely have I found a commercial style leg press that I actually haven't liked. Um, most commercial leg presses are fine, most commercial uh, hack squats are fine. For me it was finding a magical combination of a leg press and hack squat combo that was commercial. It's very rare that I've actually seen a commercial leg press and hack squat combo, um, previously coming off the Armatech uh, home leg press hack squat combo. Um, so yes it's a rare gem for me uh, because I have limited space in my garage, total I've got about eight machines so to have a dual purpose machine that can adequately do a leg press and hack squat is brilliant and it actually does both jobs really really well. Um, obviously there is a cost involved in having a unit this large um, and for me the real winner was the fact that it was local pickup. I was strongly considering the ATX branded leg press hack squat combo. I do have an ATX um, com uh, 810 commercial power rack and a bunch of other ATX equipment which has been absolutely top notch and I was very very confident that the ATX leg press hack squat combo would have also been good. Um, Having said that, their prices retail within $100 of this machine, and this machine I could pick up locally. I went and I hired a ute from Bunnings, which cost me $35 for two hours. Went and put the machine up, brought it home, and then set it up myself. So um, based on shipping all the way from the eastern states to western Australia, where I am, it was absolutely worth it to probably save in excess of you know four to $700 uh, for shipping because this machine is that large it doesn't even arrive in a pallet it actually arrives in a massive um, shipping crate and I might just insert a little picture uh, at this point to show you what the crate looks like uh, all torn up and stuck out the back of my house so look in terms of saving on shipping and quality and uh, money saved and its ability to perform the movements overall really happy with the whole package I uh, thoroughly recommend it especially if you're Perth based if you're not based in Perth and you are looking for a, a, a linear bearing style uh, leg press hack squat uh, which runs on that that you know tried and true Icarian system which has been copied by you know so many equipment manufacturers of the solid steel rod traveling on those bearings this does use that method um, and it is a very, very good machine. So, look, hopefully you've taken something away from this video, guys, and I haven't rambled on too long. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave the review there. And, uh, yeah, check it out if you're interested in getting one of these machines. See ya.